Brandy, and today I'm in the kitchen making one of my favorite recipes, Bob's Sweet and Smoky Shrimp. This is the first cousin to shrimp etouffee, but much lighter, and it'll leave your family wanting more. So, let's get started. In Bob's Sweet and Smoky Shrimp, some of the key ingredients we'll be using are red bell pepper, red, orange, or yellow, anything that's not a green bell pepper, and an onion. And I think that we'll put some garlic in there today. We'll start with the garlic, and we'll go ahead and get that diced up rather nicely. This is looking good. This is one dish that doesn't take a whole lot of time at all. Once the vegetables are in the pan sauteing, that you can work on a second dish, and today's second dish is gonna be stuffed zucchinis. So earlier this morning, I scored a zucchini lengthwise and then crossways. I found that I enjoy going ahead to score it before I cook it, so the shell stays a little bit harder than the inside, and it's really easy to scoop the pulp out. Okay, I'm gonna turn that up to about medium high and add my fresh ground beef that I've already sauteed earlier said before, zucchini is a great vegetable that can be hidden in other things, even in cakes. I've done that before. <laughs> Sneaky, but it's very delicious and very healthy. And I'm going to add about a cup of Parmesan cheese to my mixture and follow that up by enough breadcrumbs to absorb the moisture. Let's see how that works. That was about a cup as well. You don't want this mix too dry because we're gonna stuff our shells and then pop it back into the oven for a little bit, then top it with cheese. This works with any kind of cheese, but I think I'm gonna pick Swiss today for my zucchini. And it's a great side dish, or you can even use it as a main course with a nice salad and a big hunk of garlic bread. So while our vegetables are cooking here, I did prepare um, a fish that we can actually dress with a little seasoning. So for us protein lovers, instead of having rice under our Bob Sweet and Smoky Shrimp, we can actually have some nice baked tilapia. That's a real healthy option for us. The spices that I'm gonna dress my fish with include lemon pepper, not too much, just a little bit of a coating, and um, just a hint of garlic salt, this is very salty, so you never want to add salt when you have garlic salt. Then some Italian spices, just rosemary, thyme, oregano, parsley. I usually buy a good Italian mix in the grocery store. And then I like to top it off with just a little bit of seasoned breadcrumbs, but again, this contains salt, so you don't want to do too much. And then add a little pat of butter, pop it in the oven at 350. Great. Well, now that we've got our fish in the oven, let's get back to our Bob's Sweet and Smoky Shrimp recipe. It's time to add the spices that give it the signature flavors. So already prepared, I've got about a teaspoon of garlic salt, a dash of cayenne pepper, um, about a tablespoon of smoked Hungarian paprika, but then a signature spice by McCormick called Smoky Sweet Seasoning. Once I get that into my pan, and these are looking really great, Really healthy dish, very light, just to have a stick of butter in the whole pound of shrimp. So we'll let that be cooking away. It's time to add our Gulf shrimp into our dish. I'm so pleased to report that the Louisiana Gulf shrimp are back in business. Just like the spirit of America and American football, American pride. We're back and we've got this great football dish that we're getting ready to enjoy with our families. And it's looking great. It smells yummy too. So I think we're ready to take our zucchini out of the oven. Let's take a look. Oh yes, it's looking really good. My Swiss cheese is melted everywhere and it's still very moist. So I know my family's gonna enjoy this. So now that we have this great recipe fixed, I've got Dr. Hemish Kana of the Dental Depot in Highland Village, Texas. So Hemish, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us. And if I had to pick an OU fan, you'd be my favorite. So and You would be my favorite LSU fan. Well, thank you. That means a whole lot. I know it comes from the heart, and it's hard to say something like that, especially when you're being recorded. 
but I wanted you to try my delicious football dish. It's Bob's Sweet and Smoky Shrimp. And so let's give it a taste let's and see how it. that works for an, LS, or for an OU fan. I don't want to call you an LSU fan. Let's see. Mm, what do you think? That is excellent. You think folks at OU would like something like this? You know, I think folks at OU would love something like this, and I'd like to see them and try to make something better. Oh, man. Well, hey, I wanted to thank you for coming today, so I got you a little something. And I thought maybe I could make an LSU fan out of you yet. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a special little memento so for coming here today. Well, look at that. It looked perfect <laughs> right by my desk at the office. And look, if you want to send your best football food picture recipes in, go ahead and post them on Facebook on my fan page at The Soapbox. Or you can read all about this in the Cross Timbers Gazette, www.crosstimbersgazette.com. And send your picture in of your favorite food dish this football season, and let's see who's going to be the winner. Until next time, have a great football season. Good luck. This year's Best Football Food Pick Contest has been brought to you by Cross Timbers Gazette and sponsored by Dental Depot. To submit your entry, email bestfootballfoodpick at gmail.com or visit us online, www.bestfootballfoodpick.com.